What's going on, everybody? This is Abby here, and welcome to another episode, if you will, of Creator's Corner. Is it Content Corner or Creator's Corner? Either way, I've done this a few times, and um, yes, Creator's Corner. Look at that. <laughs> but for those of you who have been following the series, you know, I've been speaking to creators about their process. Originally, this began with me trying to educate our community about the things that they need to take in consideration before they accept a project or things that the people that we work with need to take in consideration for our pricing so that they are not surprised or disappointed um, when we say a certain figure and they don't know where it came from. So I have been able to snag a few minutes with the Julian, a.k.a. Mr. Dot Nice Guy underscore underscore one from Instagram, who has been um, blazing the Instagram streets lately. And um, he was nice enough to spend a couple extra minutes with me to speak about his prices process. So, Julian, welcome. Hello. Thank you so much for having me here. Thank you. Thank you. So we're going to cut straight to the chase. Did I say that right? Yeah, we're going to cut to the chase. I think so. I think so as well. But could you please run us through, well, first of all, give us like your background when it comes to creating content. And then also, mm. you know, if you are service based as well, what are some of the things that you put in place or you have um, as a part of your process to be able to provide for your customers? Okay. Um, one part of my process, my background as actually a media arts student in uh, college. So it's a four year program where you study all forms of media. So film, television, radio, new media. If you don't know what new media is, that's just social media. So Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, et cetera. Um, if there's a camera, microphone or light attached to it, I'm probably trained for it. Uh, again, it's a four year program. I graduated in two and a half years. So uh, I'm a little gifted in this area in particular. And then for me in particular, what happens is, I just had this conversation on live the other day, actually. A lot of clients don't understand the particulars or the vernacular that we're used to for our projects, right? So what I do is I usually try to hop on a phone call. Um, emails are wonderful, but things can be lost in translation. And so we'll hop on a phone call, real brief consultation. I just ask them to explain from start to finish, what is your vision? And then at the end of it, I want you to either text me or email me examples of what you're looking for, whether it's photo or video, so I know exactly what it is, so we know what's going on. Reason being, um, sometimes people are asking for a $10,000 project with a $200 budget, right? Happens all the time because they don't understand how difficult things are. Um, yes, I am gifted, but I can't give you like a helicopter shot and a car chase if you're giving me 300 bucks to work with and a walkie talkie, right? It's just the truth. Um, also, this lets me know what is the vision that you're looking for and does this style match my style? Or are you asking me to study somebody else and copy them? Because that's not something that I offer whatsoever. Um, when you're looking for different creators, please take a second to actually look at what they create. What is their style? And does that work with you and your brand? Do not ask for them to go outside of their comfort zone to the point where it's extreme to match your vision because they're going to be uncomfortable and their final project might suffer from it in the end. Um, but yeah, that's like the beginning. It's just like, getting to learn each other, like, hey, what's going on? What are you looking for in particular? Um, and also, my price is my price. I am not coming down. It's, it's, only thing is, like, I don't negotiate because, you know, camera equipment is expensive. Um, my <laughs> my insurance on my equipment is expensive. Um, camera body is $2,000. Just the lens itself is another $1,000. The knowledge needed to learn these things from these programs, these lessons, college, schooling, time spent on YouTube, time spent editing in the back end that you're never going to see. There is so much that pours into this. So once I give you my final price, if you want to break down on the invoice, I give it to you happily. And we can walk through the whole thing together. But um, I'm not going to give you, say, like $500. And you say, well, the best I can do is 300 Well, then, thank you so much for your time. Find somebody else to work with. Uh, if you can't find somebody else, come back. We can talk. But I'm not coming down whatsoever. Um, and so that's not me being rude. That's just me being honest. I'm very talented. I know what I'm doing. And so if you go to Walmart and you buy a TV and it says, hey, it costs this much, it costs that much. So when you come to me, if I say it costs this much, it costs that much. Mm. And so that is a great place for you to be in to have that confidence to say this is you know I've, I've done all the things I have the things I can give you what you want but for this much um, I'd, I'd like mm -hmm. to know you know you mentioned 
the importance of understanding your style. What is your style? And and maybe how long did it take you to navigate to say, oh, this is a type of media that I create and uh, and mm-hmm. I'm going to stay over here? What's really, really interesting is I just kind of found it naturally. Um, so I've actually been published twice as a photographer, which is crazy because I just started photography about two years ago. Um, but I began to realize I like to mute my tones and all that means is like instead of things being very vibrant and bright and really pretty, um, they're a little muted. So it means like instead of a bright blue, it's like a, not necessarily like a dirty, but it's a darker blue, right? And I take the the whites and the highlights away to make you focus on my subject, right? So if my subject is in a, in a bed of clouds, cool. You know that they're clouds, but the only bright picture is the subject because I want to draw your your eyes in, right? That's just it's something that I do naturally. Um, something I really, really enjoy. It's also a film technique that I didn't realize I passed over into my photography. Um, and I began to understand if I stop chasing what everybody else is doing and instead of embrace my own style and I stick with it, people start to seek me out in particular because I look different, because I'm unique. Um, now, don't get me wrong. I can still copy different brands and, you know, certain commercial aspects as well. And that's fun and all, but that's not necessarily what I want to do. Um, and when you begin to connect with other photographers, videographers, cinematographers, you realize, yes, we all make beautiful art, but art is beautiful because it's unique and it's different. Um, the fact that you and I can both work on the same project at the same time with the same camera, with the same angle and end up with a different result in the end, that just speaks volumes about us. And that doesn't mean it's wrong at all. It just means I see things differently than you. You see things differently than me. That's part of the process. That's the beauty of it. Mm, And that is so true. That is so true. So, when it comes down to, so we've spoken to the, the people who are receiving the service and things that they need to bear in mind. What would you say to mm. creators who are looking to build their confidence or maybe even it is time for them to increase their prices or how do they continue to find different ways to get better so that they can, you know, I guess, give relevance as to why the price is changing or going up? Um, be consistent. Be willing to ask or uh, ask questions and provide examples. So for example, um, I just worked with a client the other day and the budget was, was a bit bigger than what I'm usually used to. But what happened was, you know, they're like, Hey, why should I give you this price? Right. And the thing is I, the way I broke it down was I can give you all everything that you want to know from start to finish and give you all the technical terms, or you can have the peace of mind of paying me. You show up to the shoot at the location, correct day and time. You do your part. And then you leave. You wait a couple of weeks. You come. You come back. I give you your product. It's finished. It's done. It's polished. That's it. You don't worry about the back end. You don't worry about the process. You don't worry about the back. You don't worry about the backups, the hair, the makeup. Mm-mm. I take care of the rest. I fix things in post. You get the final product, and that's it. What I'm giving you is the the guarantee, the peace of mind, the ease of it. Um, you're not spending you know hours on YouTube learning how to edit something. You're not spending hours within the system trying to fix one small thing like no let me be stressed out you be beautiful and don't worry about anything else so the moral of the story is find where you can offer peace of mind and kill that (laughs) for whatever your price is if you can't give them peace of mind in it then stop so an example for me um i had a friend Mm -hmm. who released a book recently and she wanted to make a video for animation now, me being a creator, I can learn whatever I want, right? A couple hours on YouTube and I can figure that thing out. But I said, <laughs> I don't feel like it wasn't, I didn't have peace with it. I was like, this is not right. necessarily my lane. So I circled back with her and I was like, hey, thank you for thinking of me. I appreciate it. But I was like, I don't want this thing that's a great representation of you to be something that I just learned or something that I'm practicing. I was like, this isn't right. messing up my comfort zone, and I want it. You deserve the best, and not my first and initial efforts. And so I had to, you know, it was a humbling experience for me to be like, I know I can learn it, but Abby, that's not what you do. You're not trying to spend hours animating little pieces of stuff online right now. That's not your lane. So pull over, right. and give it to somebody else. Stay in your lane and learn your limitations, and just be honest about where you are currently. Um, where I am now, I'm not going to be in five years. I'm not going to be in six months. Like that's a fact. However, if someone gives me a project and it's like, here, I got a $20,000 project for you. Let's go tomorrow. 
if I look at the details and I can't do it, I'm not going to waste your time and your money. I'm going to be honest with you. Like, hey, look, I'll be a second shooter. I'll do the BTS. But, like, this is a beast and I can't handle it just yet. Um, I don't have the team or the equipment or the resources needed. It's okay to say no and save yourself in the long run than say yes and ruin somebody's dream or the project. Mm, mm, mm. What is some advice that you would give to creators as to how they can continue their education? Uh, YouTube University is actually fantastic. Um, if you want to do that, hey, this entire thing is actually sponsored by Skillshare. I'm, I'm joking, by the way. <laughs> um, but you'll find... You I don't know, mind them Udemy. sponsoring com. us, though. But <laughs> oh, I wish. I wish, right? But uh, Udemy.com, they have lots of courses for you know, $9.99, $10.99, even $5.99. Um, Skillshare. Um, YouTube, right? Just find stuff. And what I do is... Even if I don't want to touch my camera at all that day, I will watch a YouTube video over lighting, cinematography, color grading, editing, something. It might be five minutes, it might be 10 minutes, just get it out of the way. But at the end of the day, I got a little bit better that day. Once you learn how to find ways to integrate your your passion into your daily livelihood, if there's ever a day I don't watch an editing video or I don't touch my camera, I feel weird. Um, so learn how to make it a habit. Make sure that you fall in love with it naturally. Don't force it. And, uh, yeah, if you can do it once a day, you look up, and in 30 days, you'll be better than you were when you started. Nice. Who are a few of your favorite creators? Of all time, um, YC Imaging, um, Peter Walbach is actually, he's interesting. Only thing is, only thing I like, I love him for his work, but, like, he always tells you to buy the most expensive thing, and I hate it. Um, I do, because, like, I'm like, hey, my budget does not fit that $10,000 camera, my guy. We got to relax. Um, oh my God, I'm, I'm blanking right now. You, you got me. This is the first time you got me. But yeah, between those two, especially YC Imaging, because he works a lot more with um, people of color in the way that he just naturally, like his vibe and style of YouTube is something I'd, I'd love to do. It's just the way he shoots his BTS, his colors. If you want to know what, my, what I mean by muted tones, watch his stuff and you understand exactly what I mean. Um, but I'd love to make even mundane things in life seem more cinematic so that you have a great appreciation of them. Mm. Amazing. Well, listen, thank you so much for your time. Please go ahead and tell the people where they can follow, like, subscribe, and comment to your content. Uh, you can find me on any and all platforms at Mr. Nice Guy. So, Mr. M R period nice, spell out nice guy, G U Y underscore underscore one. Literally anything that you can find out there, type that in there and you'll find me. Thank you, Julian. You're welcome.